YouTubers, this is Holland back with a, another video for you. I wanted to pop in and chat with you about sleep training. Um, I have three kids. I have two boys and a girl. And I've had different experiences with each one. Um, with my first kid, I was working. I wasn't a stay-at-home mom. And I sleep trained him at six weeks. Um, basically... When he was six weeks, uh, me and my husband, we had decided beforehand that at six weeks he was going to sleep in his bed. And um, before that, we were co-sleeping. So he wasn't in the bed with us, but he was co-sleeping. And I was breastfeeding. So almost every two hours, you know, I would feed him and then put him back in his co-sleeper. And then at six weeks, we transitioned him to his room, to his crib. Uh, we had a monitor and we had, you know, the sound maker, um, but I would still go in at almost every two hours to feed him. And then probably when he was about 10 months, um, I let him cry it out, you know, through the rest of the night. Um, the pediatrician said that it was okay to let him cry it out at four months, but I wasn't ready to do that. I was worried that he might be hungry or whatever. So at 10 months, we let him cry it out and then he was fine um, probably after a couple of days. Um, with my second kid, he slept in the bed with us. We started off co-sleeping, but it was just easier for me to turn over and let him breastfeed through the night. So we co-slept um, for a, a, a little over a year. And um, I watched Charm Z's video um, on here about sleep training and the, the cried out method and sure enough i let him you know i put him in his crib we had the monitor we had s baby sounds or noise whatever for some reason he liked silent night so we had silent night playing for him and um probably after two or three days um he stopped waking up and crying like he would wake up but he would go back to sleep once we would play Silent Night, and then eventually we didn't have to play Silent Night anymore. He would just sleep through the night. Um, but the 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 original, like, cry it out, he would cry. It probably took, like, two to three days. Um, so recently, I had my daughter. She is one, and for anybody who's technical about the months, she was one in August. So she's, what, like, going on 15 months now. And... Um, we co-slept until recently. I decided to do the cried out method. I rewatched uh, Charmzy's video on YouTube just as a refresher and to, you know, soothe my mama's heart because, you know, nobody wants to hear the baby crying. And so um, first, the first week I started off, I would put her in her crib at the beginning of the night and then she would wake up. I would feed her um, and we are breastfeeding, so I would feed her. And then I would put her back in her bed, let her cry, but I would lay down. She has a bed in her room, so I would lay down on the bed so she could see me. Um, but that kind of turned into her being in the bed with me. So we were co-sleeping again, so I kind of was taking a step back. But um, so but I wanted her to get used to her room. So after, you know, a couple of days, I decided to just go, you know, strictly cry it out. Um, and so we put her in her bed. And I spray some um, lavender essential spray that I got from Bath and Body. I, I do this for my boys too. I spray it. Um, she has an Alexa in her room. So we play either ocean sounds or naptime lullabies. And it's best to, or at least I've noticed that she sleeps better through the night and doesn't wake up as much if I feed her and then let her fall asleep in the crib. Like I don't put her down sleep. I put her down awake and she'll cry a little bit um, and then she goes to sleep and she seems to stay um, and she'll wake up around three she'll cry a little bit but the the sounds are still playing and she goes back to sleep and um, she's pretty much caught on to this routine within like two to three days like she hasn't given me a hard time at all about it and I thought she was gonna put up a fight because she loves to be like right up under me um, but for anybody who needs to hear this, who's afraid to, you know, try cry it out. And, you know, it, it's at your discretion. I'm not against any of it, but 
I just, you know, me and my husband would like to get some sleep, you know, and some, some space from the kids. Sometimes you really do need to recharge and sleep is like so necessary, especially for moms, dads, for parents, for adults to be, you know, efficient and be present during the day. Um, also, it's important for your kid to be able to learn how to soothe themselves instead of, you know, leaning on us all the time. And that's really important to me. I don't want to hold my kids back from learning how to, to soothe themselves. Um, I think that's a skill that is very important. And I think that's more important than me feeling, you know, sad that my baby's crying. And they don't cry for long and they might cry for long, you know, maybe 30 to 45 minutes the first night, the second night. But they do get the hang of it and, you know, co-sleeping will be a thing of the past. So feel free to send me some comments or questions or, um, you know, if you want to know any specifics about what music I play, what monitors we use to watch the kids and um, any words of encouragement, you know, feel free to comment and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and send this to any, you know, parents, families that you know that are having trouble sleeping or having trouble putting their kids to sleep. Uh, feel free to share my video with them to give them some tips and tricks. And um, thank you for tuning in. She's actually taking a nap right now. Hopefully y'all have some time to eat real quick. <laughs>